Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Next week, Ella Forster's character will be scrutinized in Emmerdale when following a particularly trying day, she snaps at a beloved favorite. As viewers are aware, the character appeared in the show's named village early this year, and it didn't take long for fans to figure out that she was hiding a very important secret. Ella gained popularity among the townspeople after accepting a job as the GP's receptionist. Liam Cavaney started dating her, while Mandy Dingle forged a friendship with the newcomer. But as Layla Harding revealed Ella's terrible past, the life she had constructed for herself in the village was quickly destroyed. Ella killed her best friend Joanne when she was a little child, and she went to prison as a result. Everyone was shocked to hear the news, and many of the villagers disowned her. However, Kane Dingle understood her predicament because his own son Kyle Winchester had gone through the same thing when he killed Al Chapman. Lyme drove Ella out of town, taking particularly hard news about her background because he had lost a kid, Lena, to mean a jitless murder. Ella left the village for a few weeks and came back to retrieve the remainder of her possessions, but Mandy urged her to stay and fight to show that she is not the heartless monster that everyone is portraying her as. Though she was hesitant, Ella followed through on it. However, things take a terrible turn and what happens the next week can ruin all of her hard work. When Mandy learns that Ella's 31st birthday is coming up, she sets out to celebrate the milestone. Ella is shocked when her buddy gives her a full beauty treatment at the salon along with before and after pictures and wishes her a happy birthday. But when Ella discovers that Mandy has posted the makeover online, she loses it and tells her to take the photos off from the salon's social media accounts right now. In tense moments, Ella ruins her birthday cake and makes her way to the footbridge, where Lion follows her and tries to soothe her. Ella eventually concedes to attend her surprise party after some convincing, but things get even more complicated when June's nephew Gary comes up and causes a stir. Star Paula Lane discussed the aforementioned scenes, saying, Everyone was like, no, come on, do it. Gary comes back and outs her again in the bullpack on her birthday, which she was so reluctant to celebrate in the first place. She has therefore reopened herself and put herself out there. He then makes a comeback. After Gary shows Ella a picture of Joanne, Ella is shaken and flees outside, thinking that her world has collapsed once more. Ella falls to the ground as Gary pursues her, but he's not done yet. Paula tells us that this triggers something in Ella. Ella's helped by Wendy Posner, Susan Cookson, who moves Gary away from her. However, Ella loses it and attacks kind Wendy when she is waiting in the waiting area. Paula acknowledges, I think it's that survival instinct. Ella is still extremely shaken by what transpired. We simply need to question ourselves. What makes somebody switch like that? I suppose. She may simply feel out of place here, in my opinion. She is not a part of this planet. In fact, she's probably safer somewhere else. She's never been as insane as she is in that sequence, in my opinion. Has she gone insane? Or does she have a valid cause for doing it? Is she on the verge of pretending? What remains to be seen is how far Ella will go. And does this demonstrate that Ella is still capable of such brutality in spite of what she claims? Moreover, will Wendy be all right? Two Emmerdale actors have spoken out about their co-star's tragic passing. The Dingles will get closer as a result of the on-screen burial for Zach Dingle, which will honor the memory of Steve Hallowell, who passed away several months ago. On the ITV soap opera, actors Danny Miller and Karen Blick, who portray Lydia and Aaron Dingle, respectively, have talked about saying goodbye to their co-star in heartbreaking future sequences. 
Producer Sophie Roper had previously disclosed to audiences what to anticipate from the tearful farewell. She continued, The Dingles have been at the heart of our show for 30 years now and will continue to be so. We recently lost Steve. Thus, in the upcoming months, a Dingle funeral will be held to honor Zach's life. Many of the show's staff members and, obviously, many of our viewers who have grown to adore Zach for many Many years will find it quite tough, but it will be an incredibly fitting homage to a fantastic character. Regarding the poignant moments, Karen stated to the mirror, we were aware that all of the Emmerdale cast members would pay tribute to the legendary Zack Dingle. I started crying as I read the script. The audience is going to be in for a treat. I thought as I saw the first few scripts come in. I started crying. Though incredibly depressing, it's also endearing and a beautiful homage to Steve and Zach Dingle. Danny, who plays Aaron Dingle, talked candidly about his relationship with Steve as he considered the scenes that would come up. We will discuss Steve Hallowell's demise. Bless him, God. I think Emmerdale has always done a great job of placing the Dingles in the center of the program and representing the viewers. So it's excellent that Zach will briefly return to that role and bring the Dingles even closer together. We've grieved for Steve, so I believe it's a wonderful way for us. He remarked, He was one of the first people I met when I joined Emmerdale. He was always a big figure for me and a big shoulder and an ear for me. He continued, revealing more about what was ahead. This is more about donning the hedger with Zach and having a pleasant experience than worrying about it. He would prefer a little humor with it rather than that. Paula Lane, star of Emmerdale, talked about her son's starve acre role with Matt Smith. A mysterious and menacing force haunts the home of archaeologist Richard Smith, his wife Jules, and their son Owen in this horror movie. Arthur was born into the world of Lane, who plays Ella Forster on the ITB serial opera, and Tom Shaw in 2014. Acting was in his blood. Therefore, she told OK Magazine that they were all thrilled about his job. She started, Tom has been an actor since I met him when I was 17, and that's been our life together. After that, of course, we had the kids, and we learned about this open casting call roughly two years ago. They were pursuing a youngster from Yorkshire who was, I believe, five or seven years old. Everyone was aware of it, and it was there in every restaurant and cafe. I simply said, come on, let's give him a chance. He is an excellent performer. It runs in his family. He has such a wonderful delivery. He thus put himself forward for it. And after a recall and a final recall, he was cast in the lead part. It was simply unbelievable to us. We were stunned. Then you find yourself thinking, oh my God, do we really want him to do this? As your parental side takes over, being thrown onto a feature film set with these incredibly well-known actors was a huge step for any child. Lane expressed her happiness for her son, but she also said that she and Tom didn't want to put too much pressure on Arthur giving him complete freedom to decide whether or not he wants to pursue acting professionally. Bless him, he takes everything in stride, but we will see where it goes, she remarked. We make an effort not to become overly focused on picking that choice for him. I want him to give acting his full attention before deciding to pursue it. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.